Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, we getting into some serious stuff now, y'all. We getting closer to Thanksgiving. I don't know when this video will come out. Maybe next week or whatever, but it'll be about 10 more days to Thanksgiving, probably by the time this come out. Long story short, y'all, old school cornbread dressing. This is, I don't care where you are, where you live, what part of the Midwest, Southwest, East, North, whatever part of the United States, or maybe world you live. No, we don't celebrate here in the United States, sorry, y'all. I bet cornbread dressing, or some people call it stuffing. Depending on where you live, how you grew up, I call it old, cornbread dressing. I guarantee you it's on your table. Somewhere on your buffet table, your table, or however you do it, it's on there. And I'm going to show you how I grew up eating it. How my mom used to eat it. Speaking of my mom, other than chicken and dumplings, y'all, my mama love her some dressing. And she gonna let you know. That's why I had to perfect this stuff. She gonna let you know if it's too dry, if it's got too much salt, if it's too this, not this, not enough sage, too much sage. She gonna let you know. That's why I had to perfect this. I watched her cook it every year. And I think I got it pretty much down. So let me show y'all what I got here. And now I'm gonna get this party started. I got some old school turkey stock. I just pulled out the freezer. Y'all know my video on this turkey stock. I keep it in the freezer until I need it. I put it in a, just throw it in a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna need that. I got some cornbread. Y'all saw the cornbread that I cooked in the pan. I, I cooked this four days ago. I don't know when y'all seen the video. It's been almost five days. This cornbread here in the pan is sitting out. This cornbread on the top is cornbread I threw in the freezer earlier this year. They in the freezer. I think about two months it's been in the freezer and just let it sit in the freezer and just dry out. I put it in a Ziploc bag. I don't try to uh, vacuum seal it or nothing so it can just dry out and just be so crumbly. See how crumbly that cornbread is? That's exactly what I want for cornbread dressing. You, like I told y'all, you don't want no fresh cornbread with sugar in it. I don't like sugar. Some people do. But you want it to be old and crumbly just like this. See how crumbly that bread is? That's perfect. Absolutely perfect for dressing. All right, I got my turkey neck meat and turkey butt or turkey tail meat. When I make giving it gravy, I say that meat, that's going in the stock. It's all about flavor, y'all. I got my celery onions, like I told y'all many times. It's the only time I really like celery. When I smell celery boiling, it's holiday season. I don't eat a lot of celery in my food. I just don't like the taste and the smell of it. But when it comes to holidays, you got to have that celery. Onions. Fresh rosemary, and I'm gonna put a little dry rosemary in it too at the end, just to complement the flavor uh, of it. That's the only time you'll see me use a dry herb. Is in my dressing, I put a little uh, dry sage in it. I got the key ingredient right here: sausage. See the kind of sausage this is, y'all? Can't tear out and cut it. See a sage sausage. Sage sausage is the key ingredient I've added in here the last 20 years. I needed something to really take the sage level. And you know, sausage already has sage in it, but this sausage here has an extra sage flavor. And this is what I use right here, sage sausage. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna step off, get everything organized. We're gonna come back. I'm gonna saute the sausage off with the onions and celery, put that in there, pour the stock in there, but we gotta let this simmer about an hour before we make the dressing. You gotta make that strong turkey uh, dressing stock. It ain't a turkey stock, it's a dressing stock. I'm gonna show you just how I make it. It's a very important step to make the awesome dressing. Also, I need eggs with this, I don't have out here. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Let's get this party started here. Okay, I got my pot heating up. And what I wanna do, I'm gonna render this sausage down a little. Not even render it down. I just want to break it down here before I add my onion, celery, and my and sage to this. Just want to brown it off because I don't want to just pour this the stock and the onions all in here in the raw sausage. So I'm about to simmer this for an hour. Oh yeah, you can just smell the sage on this sausage. Now, you don't like uh, pork sauce. Some people out there don't eat pork. I respect that. I love you guys. And like I tell y'all, that's more pork for me. So, 
You can use maybe a turkey sausage or something in it if you want to. Or a chicken sausage to have that. Put it in there. You can leave it out all together. I'm telling you. This sage pork sausage is a game changer. <laughs> I got it. I'm gonna tell you a funny story. I got a, I mean, I mean, I've been making this this way for 20 something years, y'all. And uh, every Thanksgiving, I do this. And then Christmas time, I used to do, I don't do it no more. Maybe I'll start up this year, I don't know. I used to do a Christmas party at my house. All my friends and relatives would come over. It'd be 30 people at my house. I have a buffet set up in my, right in my hallway there. And just have, I usually cook like, 30 items for Thanksgiving. I have a table just for the cakes and pies and desserts. But I always do dressing. Usually a couple of pans. And I have an Amy. She's probably watching this. <laughs> My Amy don't eat pork. She cannot stand pork. <laughs> so uh, she's just eating and eating. So, oh my God. That dressing is good. Give me some more of this dressing. I just could not, y'all have the heart. My mama was laughing because my mama know what was in it. And my brother too. He said, oh, that dressing is good. Oh. Oh, that's the best dressing I've ever tasted. Give me a little bit more. She don't know it had pork sausage in the dressing. What made it taste so good. But I didn't have the heart to tell her, y'all. I really didn't. Like I tell people, you come on my house. My friends, they learned this a long time ago. That's how they learn how to eat quail. They learn how to eat frog legs. They learn how to eat duck. They say, when you go over to Tempest house, you don't know what you are eating over there. Sure don't. Because I'll put some stuff in here. And it's going to be good now. I ain't going to put nothing to make you sick. I'm going to put some good stuff in there. So, yeah. And till this day, my niece, my brother's uh, uh, youngest uh, child, she loved duck. She said, she called me Uncle Wayne. She said, Uncle Wayne, when we going to eat some duck? Because she never ate duck until she called with my house. But she absolutely loved it. She said, Uncle Wayne, when we going to eat some more duck? <laughs> yeah, I said, it's Christmas time. We're going to have some duck. Okay. Put some celery in here. Onions in here, y'all. Getting this all this goodness here. We just create flavors on top of flavors on top of flavors, y'all. We're gonna mix all this up in here. And this don't even have to saute, y'all, because we're gonna boil this down to the oblivion. I just wanna get it all mixed up. We're gonna add our fresh sage in here and later on, y'all, like I say, after I taste this, I'm gonna add a little dry sage to it. So we're going to get that fresh in there. Get that going. Now. Now, I got some meat here. Turkey meats and ends and necks and all this stuff. I ain't going to put it all in there. I'm going to save the rest and put it in the freezer for my next dressing. So we're going to put this meat here in there. Got that going. See all that good flavor, y'all? It's just flavor. Thanksgiving is about taking the time. Getting up, doing stuff on time, don't rush it. Because it's a special day for your family and friends and relatives and neighbors and whoever else you trying to feed and impress. Some people that put this, some, another thing. That's why I'm putting these videos out early, I tell people. And, my, and especially uh, some people. Thanksgiving ain't the time to be trying to try something new. That's why I tell people. Practice on this stuff early. Don't do the morning of and say, oh, let me try that. Practice on it. Do a little sample of it and see if you can do it. So Thanksgiving morning, Thanksgiving is not the time to be practicing new recipes and then they don't come out. Everybody knows that. Okay, see all that together there? Now, we're going to go in here with this good old turkey stock, y'all. Go it all in there. There we go. Don't waste none of that. Now, we're going to let this thing simmer for one hour, y'all, until all that stuff is tender. I'm going to rinse this bag out, y'all. You know, my mama would do this. Put some water in this bag. <laughs> We're going to rinse all this stuff out of here, y'all. We ain't going to waste nothing. We to all rinse this bag out and get all that stock out of there, y'all. There we go. There we go. Get all that good stuff out of there. Okay, we're going to simmer this, y'all, for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. See that? That's your base for your dressing right there. That's all goodness. All that good base right there. See that? Got all that meat in there. It's going to make you some awesome, 
Awesome, awesome dressing. So, anyway, y'all, we're going to be right back. I'm going to show you how I crumble up my cornbread and uh, get the egg cracked up. And we're going to ready to put this together. It's very simple. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Okay, I'm about to crumble the cornbread, but hold on. Let me show y'all something here. Let me show you how my turkey, uh, my dressing uh, stock is going. See that? I wish y'all could smell this, y'all. Look at that. Got that meat in there, onions and celery. But like I say, y'all, I want to simmer this until the onions and celery is mushy. Because when I eat my dressing, even when my mama made it, you could taste the celery, but you couldn't feel it. You couldn't have, you couldn't feel the bite. You could feel the, you could taste the flavor, but you couldn't feel it. I hate to taste people dressing and you bite down on crunchy celery and onion. That is a no-no for me. It has to be completely cooked. I mean, I want to be able to taste the flavor of celery and onion, but I don't want to feel them, feel them at all. So anyway, y'all, and that meat, and see how that meat is just, it just, just smells amazing. That fresh sage and all coming along. Of course, that stock is already rich. So we're gonna let that simmer. It gotta simmer another another 30 minutes there. So we're gonna move over here to the uh to my uh cornbread, which this is really nothing, just boring here. All I'm doing crumbling some cornbread. Now y'all will see I got two big bowls here. Right, let me wash my hands here because this is a crumbling of this cornbread. Uh what I'm gonna do. I'm making two big batches, y'all. Reason I'm doing this, as y'all know, I'm gonna slide it. When I even when I cook it, come out the oven, I'm gonna slide it, undercook it, maybe about ten minutes, because I'm gonna freeze this, put it in the freezer, and then I'm gonna rewarm it up. Cause like I'm telling y'all, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, I'm giving away all these Thanksgiving dinners, and this is what this dressing actually gonna be for. I'm just getting it out of the way. I'm giving away. To all my neighbors in the neighborhood, like I say, some people just don't have um, food to eat on Thanksgiving. You don't even know it. And your neighbor, while you're having a good Thanksgiving, having a good time with your family, there's somebody next door just eating probably whatever they can find, probably some sandwiches and some chips because they don't have the food and the, 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 uh, the capability to have a nice turkey and dressing, cranberry sauce, give it gravy and all that, pecan pots whatever you're having. So I want to make sure that these individuals at least have one nice meal. I make sure they have nice meals all year long, but a special meal, that's a special meal on Thanksgiving. So with that being said, like I say, I just take this crumb, crumb cause it's going to crumble easy. See how dry this is y'all? See how you can barely pick it up. That's what you want on your cornbread. See how dry that is? Been sitting in the freezer for a couple of months, just drying out. Look at that. See that? And just just crumble up with your hand so easy. I can barely pick it up. It's so uh, crumbly. That's all you do. I don't have to put it in no mixer or nothing like that because it's so dry. I mean, some people, oh, you put it in the mixer and all, in the blend, uh, processor now. Crumble it with my hand, just like this. You don't have to do that. Just like that. It's all crumbly up. Let me put this in there, the rest of that one. And then we're going to get a knife here. Y'all like my mama's old pants she used to use back in the day? And I got it, and I'm gonna keep it going, and I don't know who gonna get it when I'm gone. <laughs> no, my, my brother don't need it. I'm gonna put it in my wheel for somebody. Probably be thrown away. I don't have an estate sale at my house. <laughs> and all this stuff gonna be thrown in the garbage. Okay. Let's get this one here in this bowl here. I'm gonna try to do it as even as I can, y'all. Take it out of there. You know, the cornbread just crumbles out of here because it's been sitting on my counter for two, three days. I just put it in there. A little, little brighter than this one, huh? A little this over here, we're going to get it all crumbled up in there, y'all. Get all that stuff out of there. Oh, yeah, this you have to be pretty with this one, y'all. There we go. All right. I'm just gonna crumble this one up in here. Oh yeah, see how they just crumble so good? That, well, that's the key, y'all. I'm doing your cornbread. 
minimum two days ahead. I usually do, I've been all the way to a week ahead. But do not do cornbread the day of and make dressing the day of. That's a no-no. Because you want that stuff to be dry and good to go. See that? That's good to go here. So anyway, y'all, that's pretty much it on that. I got some eggs cracked over there. That's going to be my binder for all this. And when we come back, we're going to put this dressing together, y'all. Old school style. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Look at this here. This is ready, y'all. It's time to put this thing together. Time to put this together. Let me show y'all here. See that? Let me show you how. You can see them celery and onion. You can, you can, you can, you can see how uh, tender they are now. And meat in there is all broke down. It's gonna distribute evenly through the dressing. The sausage you can't even do, eat, you can't even see. I was telling y'all this story about my auntie and whatever. And even the disclaimer, now she knows <laughs> when I have pork, I let her know. It's nothing health reasons, it's just for uh, her religious reasons. And we respect that. But it, it, even with that on a serious note, if you're cooking something like with nuts or some people have, I know I have a friend have corn allergy. He can't eat corn. Let them know, especially if they let you know they can't eat this and this. Let them kind of let them know, because in the holiday season, we cook all kinds of stuff with different things in them. If somebody, of course, if you don't know they got an allergy, ain't nothing you can do. Or if they got a, something you don't even know. But if they tell you, I can't eat this and this and this, let them know. Especially peanuts. I very seldom cook anything with peanuts in it. I have no food allergies at all. I can eat anything I want. But some people do. Some people can't eat gluten. I got a friend can't eat no bread, can't eat no pasta, stuff like that. So, just letting y'all know. So, anyway... Back to over here, the thing in hand here. Okay, we're gonna get set up here and we forget get the magic. This is where the magic gonna happen, y'all. Okay, I got my bowl here. Y'all know I got two bowls. Of, we're gonna put our stock here. Easy access here. Okay. Now all we're gonna do, y'all, we're gonna pour the stock into this dressing and I got some eggs I'm gonna add to it, some extra sage I'm gonna add to it, and salt and pepper. That's all we're going to do. But the key is, I want to stir this up. Make sure you stir it so you can get an even distribution of everything in the... You're not just getting all meat. You're not just getting all stock. You want an even distribution of this stuff in here, y'all. Look at this here. Oh, my God, y'all. I hope I got enough to make two. What y'all think? You got enough to make two of these? Okay. I'm a fork out here already trying to taste it. Okay, well, we're just gonna mix this up in here, y'all. Get this all mixed up in here. We already know it's gonna need a lot of more stock here. Mm-hmm. A lot of more stock in here. Oh, yeah. That dressing there, y'all. Looks good enough to eat, don't it? I'm still gonna add more stock. One more thing, and then I'm gonna add my I'm gonna add my sage to this, salt and pepper. I'm gonna taste it for seasoning. And then we're gonna add our egg, which is gonna bind it. Okay. See that? Ain't that looking good right there? Has everybody been listening? Anybody in the back talking? Tap them on the shoulder and tell them y'all need to listen up. Okay, I'm gonna put a little sage in there, which I know I'm already need. Salt and pepper, which I, knew, I know I'm gonna need already, but I'm gonna taste it here and again. Okay, let me get this all mixed up. And I start with a little sage at a time, a little salt and pepper at a time. Okay, get my fork here. Go in here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A little bit more salt and pepper. Need a little bit more sage in there, not much. A little bit more sage, y'all. Not much. I should do it right there. Remember, I got fresh sage in it already. I'm gonna taste it again. Okay. Taste it 
again here. Oh my God, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. mm. That's it, y'all. Now, now we're gonna bind this thing. We're gonna put a little egg in there. That's what's gonna bind it together. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's gonna bind it together here. Oh yeah. See that? There we go. There we go, y'all. Now, let me get my casserole dish here. Get my big one here. Take as long to cook when I put it in this in the big boy here. Just on the side here. I'm gonna need that spoon again. And we're just gonna pour this right into the casserole dish here. How easy was that, y'all? How easy was that? Okay, we're gonna set this over here to the side. And then we got another one to do here. This stuff is amazing, y'all. I already know it's gonna be good. Done it too many times. Been there, done that. Put this on the side. And we're gonna get the other one going here. <clears throat> All right. Get our stock going. Get our stock in here. Just like we did the other one. I'm not going to go to a commercial, y'all. I'm going to just get this therapy for me. Probably therapy to you. Some people say they don't cook. They just watch it like, like to watch me just talk and cook. So I'm not going to go to a commercial. I'm going to just keep it right here. Okay, same spoon that I used for the other one. Don't matter. Don't matter. Definitely need some more stock in there, y'all. I'm gonna have some happy neighbors for Thanksgiving, ain't I? They're gonna get some old school recording. A lot of them taste in my dressing before, so ain't like it's something new. A little bit more stock. Ooh, I'm gonna have something to freeze for a little quick dressing in a few months, y'all. All right, there we go. That's the consistency I'm looking for right there. Now, give me some salt and a little sage here, y'all, just like I did before. A little sage in there. A little salt and pepper. Put that down there. Oh, mix that in really good. Where my fork go? Here we go. Trying to hide on me here. Get my fork here. Trying to taste it here. Mm. Just a little. Not much. A little more sage, y'all. Not much. Flavor balance. stock in here y'all <clears throat> don't want this to be too dry I bet I done knocked off this flavor mm -mm. a little bit more salt and pepper yeah I know what I did <clears throat> when I had to take more stock it knocked off the balance of the salt. All good. That should do it. I ain't got to taste it. Now, we're going to go in here with our eggs. I'm not going to put them all in there either. Save them other for my pie I'm about to make. There we go. I don't know 
what, y'all? I guess I couldn't put them all in there, right? I think I'm gonna need them. I think I'm gonna need them in this one. It's the one I'm gonna slightly overcook, y'all. Not overcook, undercook for my neighbors. There we go. Now, we're gonna get our other. Let's move this pot out the way, y'all. Get my other casserole dish here. Make sure this mix really, really good. I'm gonna pour this right in the dish, y'all. Get my. I'm do it my. Hold on, y'all. Just a second. Get my spatula. There we go. There we go. How about that? Now, we're going to cook this in the oven. Of course, this, the other one going to cook before this one because it's a smaller thickness. I'm going to cook it maybe 30 minutes uncovered. Now, you like to go 45 minutes. But I'm going to slightly undercook this, as, as I told y'all. I'm going to slightly undercook it because I'm going to cook it again after I get it out of the freezer. And I don't want it to be too dry. So we're gonna slightly undercook it just a little. It'll be edible. You can eat it now. It's cooked now. You say eggs and eggs cook when they hit that hot liquid. The eggs automatically cooked. You're just trying to firm it up. That's all you're doing, y'all. You can actually, if you don't like a firm dressing, you can eat it right now. Everything's cooked. Even the eggs I put in it. And that hot liquid, it cooked the eggs too. So anyway, 30 minutes, 350 degrees uncovered. And we'll be right back. I got me, so I just happen to have me some cranberry sauce in the refrigerator, y'all. And we're gonna check this dressing out and see how good it is. I gotta prove it to y'all. Old school cornbread dressing, almost finished. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. The dressing is done, 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 done. Look at this, y'all. Nice and moist, brown on top. Like I told y'all, I'm not gonna, uh, cook it completely i took it out like 10 minutes before it's completely completely done but this dressing is nice and moist which i'm gonna show y'all i'm gonna move this one to the side and we're gonna get into this one uh in just a second on the way back i'm gonna because i gotta make a world famous youtube thumbnail y'all y'all already know and then we're gonna come back and i gotta prove to the naysayers there's always some naysayers on youtube it's always everybody youtuber know that they don't believe me why a lot of people don't even taste their food. Y'all notice that? They don't want the pressure of it not being good and not coming out good. That's a little inside YouTube tip. A lot of people don't cut their cakes. They don't cut their pies. They don't show you nothing. So you just got to hope what they telling you is true. But I'm a prove. I prove y'all what I'm doing is true. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Let me show y'all here. Look at that. Look at that dress in here. Y'all can see it's here. Look at the moist dressing right here. But I got to show y'all here. Look how moist this dressing is, y'all. You can just tell how moist it is. Look at that. Give y'all a close-up. Mm, mm, mm. I'm telling you. I'm going to show y'all. Some people going to be nice there. See how moist it is? See that? That's moist dressing, y'all. Not crummy. Let me get a little bit with a cranberry sauce on it. See that? Steaming hot. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. The meat in there, as you can tell, it's so evenly distributed in there that you get meat in every bite. You get a little turkey neck. You get a little turkey tail. Get a little of that sausage. It blends in so well. And like I was telling y'all, the celery and onion, you can taste them, but you can't feel them when you bite it. There's no, it's not crumbling. Look at this, y'all. Hmm? That's how dressing both pick up. They're not both be crumbling all over your plate. See that? 
That's how it's supposed to be, y'all. That's another thing I had to get right. Because my mama, I'm telling you, if the dressing was dry, too salty, not flavorful, she gonna let you know. She definitely ain't gonna let you know. But, you see, I can't stop eating this stuff. I'm gonna buy it here. And like I say, my old school Ghibli gravy, it just puts this over the top. Mm. It puts it over the top. Now y'all probably curious how I'm gonna reheat this. What I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna let this set up overnight here. Tomorrow, I'm gonna take a spatula and I'm gonna cut this in squares. I'm gonna put it in a food saver and shrink wrap it. When I warm it back up, for Thanksgiving, I'll give it away. I'm gonna put it back in the casserole dish. I'm gonna cover it. I'm gonna uh, uh, put some chicken stock over the top of it and slowly bring it up the temperature. And it's gonna be just like this. It's gonna be exactly like this dressing, just like you could buy on the stove. I'm gonna bring it. It's gonna take about 30 minutes covered, but I'm gonna cover it this time. I'm gonna put it back in there, put some chicken stock on top of it, cover it. 30 minutes, and it's gonna be nice and moist. Well, if you ever wanna cook the, cut the dressing ahead of time and uh, freeze it, freeze it in blocks, make sure you cool it off, cut it in squares, put it in your, if you don't have a full safe, put it in a Ziploc bag. It ain't gonna hurt if you're doing it for a couple of days, throw it in the freezer like that. It's not gonna hurt it. Pull it out, place it back into your pan, like the square part, and you can like mash it down in there if you want to, if you thaw it out. But you can let it thaw out too. And you can kind of mash it down in there. They'll think you made it that same day, y'all. It'll have the same flavor, same taste. Just a little tip, y'all, how to do dressing and uh, freezing. One more bite of this good dressing, y'all. And we're gonna, I gotta just show y'all again how moist that dressing is. See that? Look at that. That's it, y'all. But anyway, let me close the video out. I gotta eat me some dressing. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy, 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 blessed Thanksgiving. Love y'all. Bye.